hi everyone welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about binders especially the binders used in oil paintings so let us get started let us first focus on what are binders binder is a medium which binds the paint together and also binds the paint with the surface of the canvas or the boards we are painting on the visual appearance of the paints used with different binders will be different because of the light refraction through each of the binders so i will explain you let us take the cadmium red used in watercolors and in oil paints you would have seen that the cadmium red used in watercolor is different from the cadmium red used in oil paints in visual appearance and the reason behind that is the binders or the medium which are used in mixing the paints together now in a watercolor we are using gum arabic whereas in oil paints we are using linseed oil or different types of oils when the light travels from one medium to another it bends and the angle of bending will determine how the paint looks in different mediums and that is the reason why the same pigment from one medium appear different to another let us consider some of the properties of the binders which we need to consider in order to have a good binder the first one being that the binder should not change its color over time as it ages and we have seen that the linseed oil has a tendency to appear a little bit yellow and become darker and the reason behind that is the exposure to ultraviolet light the second property is that the binder should not change the color of the pigments that is they should not react with the pigments over time acrylic dispersions and fresco are the binders which are very alkaline and have the tendency to change the colors of the pigments the next property would be that the binder should retain their binding properties over time the binders should remain structurally stable that means they should not peel off chip off or become brittle over time but the storage conditions and and the exposure to the light will determine structural properties of the binders and another property would be once the binder is dried completely it should not reactivate with mild solvents because when the painting is stored in museum or any other place they will use a little bit of solvent to clean the paintings that should not result in the binder being reactivated and another most important property would be that the binder should not be very toxic right because we as an artist are using the binders in our day to day life and they shouldn't be toxic of course or else it will result in health conditions now there are certain types of binders which are used in oil paints called the natural binders which are the drying oils number one drying oil is the linseed oil made from flax seed the major advantage of linseed oil is that it will give a very good resilient film of paint and the disadvantage being that it darkens over time there are certain types of linseed oil the linseed oils are processed in different ways and resulting in different properties of linseed oil the number one being the cold pressed linseed oil wherein the linseed oil is extracted by the flax seed through a lot of pressure and it dries comparatively quickly with the normal linseed oil Another type of linseed oil would be the steam pressed linseed oil. This type of linseed oil was made to make a oil comparable to the cold pressed linseed oil because the cold pressed linseed oil's cost was very high. Another type of linseed oil would be the stand oil wherein the oil is heated to a high temperature approximately around 300 degrees Celsius. Now this oil cannot be used for paints. This cannot be used as a binder because it is very viscous, but it is an excellent addition to paint binders and uh, glazing mediums. Another type of linseed oil is semi thickened linseed oil wherein the oil and the water is mixed together. This is an old form of making linseed oil which has been carried out since renaissance and in this process the oil and water are mixed together and exposed to sunlight directly sunlight and dried over time and this type of linseed oil will also be viscous but it is a very good dryer and the oil is partially polymerized and oxidized and hence it is a good leveler also next one is the washed linseed oil wherein the linseed oil is washed with water to remove impurities in that case just mix the linseed oil with water and shake it well and keep it untouched for a period of time and oil and the water will get separated along with the impurities and then you can remove the oil which is on the top of the layer and let the impurities and water sit behind 
other than linseed oil there are other types of binders also the number one being the safflower oil the safflower oil is extracted from safflower plant it is a semi drying oil and can be used with paints by using a little bit of dryer also another one is tongue oil also known as china wood oil and uh, is extracted from the tongue tree though this binder cannot be used for oil paints but it is most widely used in furniture industry it is a very fast dryer and has a tendency to frost and bloom right and that is the reason it cannot be used for oil paints okay. another type of oil is called the poppy seed oil poppy seed oil of course it is extracted from the seeds of poppy plant it is pale and colorless and is used in making whites and light color colors some sources claim that these are susceptible to cracking as well but these oils are used in some lines of oil paints another type of oil would be the walnut oil extracted from uh, the fruits of the walnut tree it has been used by renaissance artists who used to fabricate their own oil paints walnut oil has a drying time comparable to the safflower and the poppy seed oils now like many other oils walnut oil does not store well it will rancid over time until they are stored in refrigerator but the drying process quickly overtakes this defect the demand of walnut oil is very low the cost of walnut oil is a little bit high next we have is soybean oil extracted from soybean plant this type of oil has been successfully incorporated as a synthetic binders because of its flexibility winsor and newton alkit paints use these synthetic soybean oils now next is a semi drying oil castor oil olive oil and peanut oil are some of the examples of semi drying oils as the name suggests they will dry very slowly now semi dryer oils are not recommended for permanent paintings now you can use them uh, for a throw away paintings and make sure you throw them away non drying oils there are certain oils which will not dry over time at all The example of this would be the castor oil. Uh, it will not dry over years and will still be sticky and uh, seriously will not dry. But you can make a castor oil uh, dry by dehydrating it with some chemical processes. I would suggest you not to use castor oil because there is very less information available for its performance. So these were the binders used in oil paints. which you can use and you can select because some people might have allergies with linseed oil and they can use other alternatives so this was all about the binders for oil paints now if you guys want to know about the other binders like the binders used in watercolors and acrylic paints let me know that in the comment section below and i will make another video on that if i missed something or if you want to know something about the binders just mention those things also in the comments below and i will uh, try to answer all of you and i'm going to bring up more things about oil paints that you need to know and you need to consider before getting into oil paints subscribe to my channel because i'm going to bring more content like that in future hit the hit the bell button as well okay do not forget to hit the bell button so that you will get notified when i post another new video also i would like to tell you guys uh, to drop your comments below on what kind of content you would like to see in the future videos thank you so much for watching again and i will see you in my next video bye bye